Hello everyone, just wanted to give you a update from Bangkok, Thailand. I'm here in front of King Rama, who is, I think it's King Rama the Ninth, who's going to be cremated today, which is a huge event. He's He's been their king, or was their king, for, for 70 years. His reign was 70 years, and and they've spent a whole entire year preparing for, for today, which is his cremation, October 26, 2017. So everywhere you see around, you see these memorials of the king. And it got me thinking, this is just outside of the hotel in, in downtown Thailand, but it just got me thinking a lot about our memorial and, and make, making memorials for our king. And I was reading in, in Luke 2 this morning, and it says in Luke 2, there was a man named Simeon, and it says that he was a man of Jerusalem, and it says he was righteous and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him, and it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came in the Spirit in the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, that you have prepared in the presence of all peoples a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. You know, our memorial to, to the true King, to the, to the true Lord Jesus Christ, should be exactly what Simeon's was, which was a devout and righteous life. One that's led by the Holy Spirit to lift His Son high and to declare among all the nations that He's worthy, that He's worthy to be praised, that He's the, the glory of Israel and that He is a revelation to the Gentiles, a revelation of salvation. And He has brought the consolation, the consolation to, to His people. And so... And so, I'm just, I guess today I'm just, just really thinking a lot about that in my own life. Like, am I devout? Am I righteous? Am, am I a man that's led by the Spirit and that beholds the glory of the Lord and, and that looks for Christ and, and wants to grow in His presence like Samuel did? Just pray today that, that that's what we would do that we wouldn't put our faith in in kings of this earth and that we wouldn't make much of them but we would make much of him our king the king of glory the salvation of the peoples